Hi everyone, this is Jane here. Just bringing you a little, um, it's not really an unboxing, it's a walkthrough really, because I've unpacked it already. So this is a new deck that I've bought. I've not bought a lot of new decks this year. Um, I didn't really intend to buy a lot of new decks this year because I've got a lot and I'm kind of, I'm actually thinning out my collection um because i have a lot and i have a lot that i don't use so um i kind of didn't want to invest too much more in a new deck unless it was something really different or something that i just absolutely loved um so i do have an oracle deck and a tarot deck on order um the oracle deck is one that goes with my wandwood and arboridium deck there Jackie loves the ones so that's kind of on order because I, I just want to hold I want I want the whole set and I just love that 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 whole wand word thing so there's that um there's also the bohemian gothic re jig that they're doing special edition um which sounds just absolutely fabulous so had to go for that um but other than that I haven't really been drawn to very many tarot decks, but I've deliberately avoided watching walkthroughs and things because I want to be a little bit more strict with myself about what I bring in. Because I do have decks here that I've opened and I've never used them. Um, and I I like them and I like the art, but I've never really been drawn to actually use them for a reading. And that's their purpose for me. That would be their purpose. I mean, I do like a collection, don't get me wrong. Um... But I didn't want to just have loads of decks that I don't use. So I'm kind of thinning out my decks at the moment. So I don't want to add too many to it. But that being said, here's one I added. Um, this is the Tarot of the Witch's Garden. Uh, it's by Sasha Graham. And the art is by Natasha... I think it's pronounced Ilinchik. Or Ilinchich. Um... But sorry if I've absolutely massacred your name. Um, so this is it's published by um, Llewellyn. And it's one of their nice kits that they produce. Um, so it's, it's kind of manifesting and magic await you in the witch's garden. Um, it's a really nice box. The Llewellyn kits are always in lovely boxes now. The thing with the Llewellyn I was finding is that the um, cardstock of the, the actual deck themselves was really lacking. Everything else was great. The books were great. They invested all this money in doing really beautiful four colour books. And it seems like they, they sort of scraped on the quality of the cardstock. But I don't think that's the case with this one from what I've read about it. So this is Witch's Garden. It's got a nice magnetic closure. And in here we have the book and the deck. So I have already unwrapped it from its plastic just to save a bit of time. So we just got the nice little design. This is actually quite sturdy. Some of these sometimes are a bit flimsy. This isn't. It's good. Good box. Nice magnetic closure. Can't go wrong. Um, the book... I have had a little flip through this book just quickly. I haven't actually read very much, but I, I have looked through it. It is absolutely beautiful. It's all four colour. It's as a picture, I think, as a picture of each card, like a full page of each card. Um, just lovely. Really beautiful. And I know, I'm, I know a lot of people do this as well because I said about it and people said, yeah, I do that as well. And I've heard other people talking about it. The book and the cards smell absolutely gorgeous. Um, they're just absolutely lovely. Really, oh, it's just, oh, the smell of the ink is so good. Um... That sounds really bad, doesn't it? My dad was a printer, so my childhood was spent with my dad coming home from the factory and smelling the ink. So it's quite a nostalgic smell for me. Um, 
but I love it. This is a great book. It's got it's all of the cards described, a bit about the authors, a bit about the artists. It's got all the contents. So, yeah, it's it looks like a very good book. I haven't actually delved too deeply into it just yet, but it's got f like a full colour, full, full page image, even of the minor arcana. So it's great. Let me just tell you how many pages it's got because it is chunky, chunky, chunky. Um, 295 pages. That's a nice, big, chunky book. So that's the book. Put that to one side. So on to the cards. This is the back of the cards. They are reversible. I like that. I'm not usually a green person, but I actually really like that. Um, really, really nice. They're the normal tarot size. They're not too big. They're not too small. They're not edged. I might edge them. I might get a green pen and I might edge those when I've got a spare evening where I just want to sit and do something that is um, repetitive. You know, sometimes you just want to do something that's repetitive where you just your brain doesn't have to be working, but your hands are doing things. Um, I think that can be quite a therapeutic sometimes to do that. Um, cardstock, not too bad at all. This is definitely better than previous Llewellyn decks that I've had. And this actually, I don't know if you'll be able to see it if I hold it right up to the camera. Let me see if I can actually see what I'm showing you. Um, this has got like a, like a linen finish. So I don't know if you can actually see it, but it does have very, very slight linen finish in there. So it, they are really, it's a really, really nice, cardstock so I will just quietly go through these and just show you each card I actually really like that death card. That's our major arcana. I love them. I love the fact that they're borderless. They are very slightly shiny, but they're not really, really shiny. I think the kind of linen stock kind of dampens that down a little bit. Ones. I guess they must have put all the um, cool cards together. Actually, loving the cups. The cups are not usually my favourite suit. I usually like the ones best. Um, but the card, I'm liking the cups a lot.
I love that Ace of Pentacles. So it's very um, Rider Waite Smith based. But the illustration's beautiful. I just kind of really like them. Really like the images. So that's our pentacles. And yeah, they, they've put all the court cards together. So this is our page. I did actually see a review somewhere where they said that they felt like they'd messed up the pages. I think that was this deck, but forgive me if I'm wrong. But I think that's what I heard. Um, but I don't mind them. I love the Knight of Wands. Love that Queen of Swords as well. See, I love that page. That page is cute. Really cute. Little hat. So cute. Um, so, yeah, I, th I like them a lot, actually. Um, I do kind of see the po their point a bit with the court cards. I don't really feel I do like I don't know I, I kind of really like some of them and others are okay with the court cards I kind of maybe don't feel as if there's quite as much going on with the art with the court cards but I don't think this deck is on its own in that really um I think on the whole, the court cards are okay. There's a couple that I really, really like. But the rest of it, I just think it's beautiful. Really, really like the um, Major Arcana and the Minor Arcana. They really are very, very pretty cards. So on the whole, I would say I really, really like them. I love the fact that they're borderless. I know I say that all the time. Um, but I do enjoy that about cards, I've got to be said. I think they shuffle quite well. I'm sure if you can, um, you can probably see better on the back, actually, where the, the, um, linen effect is I hope you can see anyway um I think I've lost my train of thought now uh probably if you can um riffle shuffle you'd probably be able to riffle shuffle these really well because they've got a bit of flexibility to them um but they're actually not as they're definitely not as flimsy as other Llewellyn decks that I've had so I'm going to quickly pull us a card from this deck um just to see what we get. So we get the world. Fantastic. So the world is really card of um, all sorts of different things, really. You know, it can be about travel. It can be about, um, you know, going on your journey. It can be about completion. So I often feel with the world as if it's kind of saying to you that all the lessons that needed to be learnt from whatever series of events you are going through in your life or that you are in the middle of is coming to an end. We're coming to a conclusion. We've learnt everything that there is to learn from that. So there's a lot of really beautiful energy in this world card kind of feel like it's it's kind of 
I don't know, it's kind of quite, I feel quite enclosed. It's almost like you're safe. We're done with this now. Um, so it's a really, really beautiful card for us to just finish off this little walkthrough of the Witch's Garden. So if you have enjoyed the video, please do give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps the channel to grow, even if you just give it a like. Um, it, it just really helps. So please do do that if you feel like you can. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all again soon.